Hey guys, how you doing? This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. Now, this BJ Tech Daily Report, or the BTDR, is brought to you by HD.com, uh, where you can find the latest mobile movie system gadgets to record the finest videos using your iPhone or iPad device. Now, you can find a annotation right above my head right there. You can click on that and it will take you to the site or you can always go to the description of the video to check out the site as well. So what's been the latest thing in technology? Well, I uh, read a cool article and it looks like Sprint Vital leaks out with a 5 inch HD display. Ooh, how cool is that? That's about a 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor with a 13 MP, which is megapixel camera, uh, Android 4.1. Uh, it's already a video out, which is really interesting. I don't think is Sprint trying to compete with the HTC One and the Sam the Samsung Galaxy S4 that it just recently came out. It's pretty interesting. It has a five-inch display, HD. You know, mostly the H. I think the H. TC1 and as well as the Samsung G4 uh, do have HD, uh, but uh, the version that the Vital is supposed to come out is uh, Jelly Bean version 4.1. Eh, it's okay. Uh, it looks like Sprint's gonna be running it on a 4G LTE network. Eh, it's okay to me. Uh, it's a dual core processor which is clocked up to 1.5 gigahertz, and it has about a one gig of RAM. And eight gigs of external uh, storage bin. Now for the HTC One, because I do have someone in the family that does have a HTC One, and they actually have the eight gig one, is great. And I think the next uh, version is the sixteen gig one. I haven't played around with the Galaxy S4, so if you guys out there actually have a Galaxy S4, uh, hey, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. What kind of size do you have, or what kind of size do, does it come with? Uh, the next pretty cool announcement is that the HTC One is coming out with a mini version of itself. It's about uh, 4.3 inches, and it, it rather than displaying the 1080p full HD, is actually going to display 720p, which is kind of interesting. And it also has an ultra pixel camera. Now, with the article itself, I'm, I'm actually checking out the article in Engadget.com, and it looks like uh, it's it's a little slighter, slimmer, smaller, 720p display. Uh, it has a dual core processor with two gigs of RAM, uh, 16 gigs of external storage for a four megapixel, shorter, complete with our ultra pixel technology. So it's it's. You got the HTC, the HTC One, and then you got the Mini. It's like an extreme downgrade. I'm kind of wondering how much it's gonna cost at the very end. Uh, from the picture, it doesn't look like it has the the hard casing. Uh, it does look like the battery is embedded, like the iPhone uh, or the original HTC One. That like the battery is in house; you can't remove it. And it looks like the storage is inside is an internal storage. You can't add an additional uh, micro card or something like that so that's pretty interesting now the big thing with Microsoft now is Windows 8 now there's been a big buzz with Windows 8 especially with Windows 8.1 also considered code name blue Windows blue now it looks like Windows RT 8.1 update to include Outlook 2013 there's also been a leak that uh, Microsoft is also going to be giving free trials, not even free trials, it's going to give uh, free office installations with upcoming tablets as well as desk, uh, I think laptops with Office 2013 already installed. So that's pretty interesting. Now, with Outlook 2013 being part or integrated with the 8.1 as a desktop mail client, that's going to be pretty interesting. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a rumor. It's not fully decided as of yet if it's going to be pushed out. Again, Windows 8.1, codenamed Windows Blue, is going to be out for review for the developers, Is I think, on June 26th, which is in two weeks or so. So hopefully I will get a copy of that, and we will do a 
uh, an installation as well as a review on it with you guys. Now, the latest thing now, uh, for what I found out, uh, Microsoft already came out with their own YouTube video, and they're the first ones already out in YouTube with a preview of Windows 8.1. How cool is that? But the problem is, I think from my understanding, they forgot to pinpoint the start button. They it's the uh, for when I saw the video, the video was most likely just describing the same features as eight, but they really didn't focus as much with the start button, which I found it kind of interesting. So I don't know why would you make a video post it up for the whole world to watch it announcing 8.1 which everyone's pretty excited about it but you're not focusing on the main thing and the main thing of 8.1 is the start button why are Microsoft why are you not focusing on that so um, I cannot wait for June 26 when the developers review comes out download it I'm gonna test it out to see how it is I'm, I'm hoping the start button is there so I'm hoping I want to know what you guys actually think. Do you guys think that the start button is actually there, or is it just you know lies that Microsoft just wants us to think that the start button is there, or is the start button gonna work the way that we are so familiar of using the start button? Hey, leave some comments below and let me know. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this uh, BJ's tech daily report which is the first one and hopefully I'm gonna do this more often uh, please leave comments below all the links of all the articles are gonna be placed on the description part and I catch you guys later peace out